Hey, good morning, JT. Are you ready to go find some treasure? Yes. All right, we're going to go geocaching on our Trek bicycles. We've got the phone hooked to the bike. We got JT on his Trek. We got Daddy on his Trek. You ready to go? Yes. Let's go get some treasure. All right, we are 300 feet away from it, 285, 270. We're on top of our bridge right here. 250 feet from it. We've been coming down to this bridge for a couple of years now. We never knew there was treasure down here. Ooh, the water looks good. 200 feet from it. Looks like it's gonna be right over there on the trail. All right, following JT down there. We're gonna find this treasure. It's gonna be good. 230 feet away, gonna go under the bridge. Hi, this way, buddy. Ooh. Ooh, the water was high, nice and muddy right there. All right, says we're 180 feet away, 170, 160, 150. All right, let's keep cruising up here. JT's right behind me. Now 80 feet away, 70, 60. Beautiful day. It's supposed to be a rainy day, so we caught it where it's not going to. Right, 20 feet. Okay, maybe I just passed it. Let's see. Yep, looks like I'm going away from it. So we're going in there somehow. I'm gonna have to turn around. Go back toward JT. Go that way, bud. Looks like it's gonna be over here a little bit. Okay. All right, we'll hop, get up closer and then hop off. 50, 30. 20, all right, I'm gonna put the bike right here. I got a little post right here. Ooh, that's supposed to mean something, maybe. I don't know. All right, get my phone off of here. And we're gonna go off into those woods. All right. JT, you ready to go in the woods? Yes. All right, let's see what we can find. Ooh, look at that big old tree, all right. Okay, this description says, take a walk on beautiful Swan Creek. Not only will you see many bird squirrels, so fish in the stream, and you may even find a bison or two. A bison or two. Okay, activity somebody found it March 5th. Ah, uh, let's see, today was a good day for the soul. Perfect weather, just slightly cool morning. A nice day for getting some, not too crowded. Come back to the Greenway this afternoon to rectify some do not finds. Found this one in a place I looked before, but I guess I needed to start looking on the ground when I didn't find it in the obvious place. So it's on the ground. So people are finding it. Found on ground, replaced wet log. Put back in hidey hole. I could not spot this one today. Okay, we're gonna get after it. We get closer to it, we will let you know. You ready to go, JT? Yes. All right, let's go. JT, look in here. Maybe it's in here. This, this tree has a big hole in it. No, I don't see anything in there. They said closer to the ground, so maybe a hole in the tree closer to the ground. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Oh, getting close. Five feet. Let's go over here. Look at this tree where we put our bikes. I think I see it. There's something up there, JT. You want to get it or me? You. You want me to get it? I'm going to stick my hand there. <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> Should I grab it? I see something in there. I see something in there. Oh, look in there. <laughs> A teeny tiny geek. <laughs> it's the smallest one we've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. It's All right. tiny. Come over here. Let's just sit on the ground and check it out. It's right. teeny tiny. <laughs> it's teeny tiny. Open it up for us. <laughs> Turn the other way. Okay. Bet there won't be in the water. It's a good little tiny one. There's probably just some names in there. It's oh. tight. Let's look at this. Oh, this is kind of cool. 
just names. All right, so we've got a bunch of names. On the outside it says geocaching.com game piece. I forgot, oh, cool. I forgot to bring a pen. We didn't bring a pen, but we know where it is. We can come write our names anytime we want. Very cool. JT, give me a fist bump. We found one. Boosh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stick that back in there. Okay. That is, that is a really good one where that is. So, man, it was so obvious right here in front of us. Geocaching on the bicycles. All right, we're gonna stick it back and we're gonna go for another one. Yes, we found it. <laughs> stick it in there really well. All right, I'll let you work on that. All right, we get to log this one and say, found it. All right. All right, so we can, all right, got it. Let's add, a, let's add, let's say this, pretty easy to find. Nice, very good, very good. Let's add a picture to this. Let's take this thing off, add a picture to it in this pretty area. Come here, JT, show it to us. All right, and we're gonna take a photo. Yeah, smile for me. Yeah. Good deal. Very good, very good. So we took a picture of it, and I'll let JT put it back in the hiding place. <laughs> I already posted that. We have five total finds. Let's go to the next one. All right, so we have found five, and we're gonna go to another one. Okay, it's on this trail. Let's see if we can zoom into it. Let's see here. Work for me. There we go. Phone doesn't want to work very well for me. All right, so we just found that one, and we're going to go. Let's go on to the next one. Let's go. Let's go to that one right there and see what that's like. All right, this one's called Nasty. 0.2 miles. <clears throat> it's a 3.5 terrain, 2.5, and it's another small one. All right, description. All right, description has been edited. This cache is in the same area as our big green alien cache. Someone decided to steal the cache container, so we are, as a result, we decided to replace it with a high difficulty level cache. Oh, that's why they call it nasty. You are on, all right, you are on with this one. We hope you packed a lunch. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna start, we're gonna to navigate to it anyways. It is, all right. That way, JT, we're going the other way. All right, let's do this to this. All right, three, two, one, go! Why is it called that? It's quite the adventure. Lots of different ways to do it, lots of places get you out. Looking at beautiful things in the spring, all the different seasons. We are one tenth of a mile from this. I hear JT ringing his bell back there. He's excited about our fifth catch, our fifth find. All right, let's see what we got. 500 feet away. 500 feet, JT! Three hundred and fifty feet, JT. We're getting closer. Two hundred and fifty feet, big boy. Might be up there by that bench. Maybe. This one's supposed to be hard. All right, a hundred and fifty feet, big boy. <laughs> That's right. 100 feet, 70, 60. Whoa, it's telling us to go straight that way. So, all right, look, there's a little trail. Let's go down this trail. All right, go, go first. Go down that trail first, hey, big boy. Or I'll go first. It's got a little log to jump over. Oh. Oh, there's a little trail back here. All right, let's put the bikes right here. 
take this off. It says we're seven feet away from it right here. JT, we're right here at it. Wow, this one's gonna be tough. But you know what? It's gonna be fun. All right, so check out our area. There's been a lot of, I don't know, a lot of change it looks like in here. So we're gonna check this out. Our lookout for poison ivy, thorns, and no shoulders. Yep, and I already see some poison ivy. That's right, good identification right there. He saw the poison ivy. All right, there's some more right there. There's actually quite a bit. All right, we're gonna get back with you as we get closer. It says you are looking for a micro and you will need a log retrieval tool. Maybe that means digging or maybe that means really high at a tree. If they said this might be a four difficulty level, five means it's the hardest. Depending on the results, we may change the three and a half difficulty rating. After you find the opening to ground zero from the walking trail, take about 35 steps. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess we're about 35 steps in, it says. Look to your right, that would be that way, JT. And you should see a divine location for a cache hiding. So divine location, I guess this means this area, all right? This cache is located on the Swan Creek Trail. The trail is closed at one point due to construction on Forest Street. If you go to the old high school on 31, that's part, we're, we're past all that. Um, okay, so something over here, a divine place. Divine means heavenly and maybe up is what that means. Okay, what do you think? Digging or climbing? All right, I'm thinking up. We can look at both. We have plenty of time, so let's check it out, big boy. All right, we'll let you know how it goes. Look at that vine. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I follow in directions perfectly. So it says 35 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I don't want to walk in there. So we're right in this area. So it's right here, somewhere in this area. All right, we're going to take our time and browse around. I'm thinking it's up in a tree. I might be wrong. Tree right here. I'm thinking that's too easy to be right there. Maybe up there. No, I don't feel anything right there. Maybe on the other side of it. Let's keep looking. So on the app, it says a hint. Bigger is better. What do you think that means? I think it means somewhere up higher. Up higher? Maybe, do you think maybe a bigger tree? Maybe. So maybe we can find the biggest tree around here. Maybe that's what that is. So let's look at the biggest tree. Okay. And... All right, it says I'm kind of far away from it right here, so let's let's find out. Let's go. There's some pretty little irises right here. So bigger is better. Let's go. Yep. And put your foot in that little crack, big boy. Stand up. Look in that up there. Can you see up there? It's not in here. You don't see anything? No. All right. Well, not up there. All right. Come at me. All right, we found a worm in the tree. I really think it's supposed to be in this tree. Bigger is better. It says we're about eight feet from it right here. I don't know, walk that way, bud. Let's see if we can reevaluate this and figure it out. That might be good. All right, we're gonna find this one. Yeah, but we can't find it, so we're gonna put this down as a did not find, but we're, we're gonna come back on another day. We're gonna thank them for the ticks or for the poison ivy. Thank you for the ivy. Hey, but we're gonna come back. We're gonna figure this thing out. All right, off to the next one, okay. You just said ivy. <laughs> That's right. Like my friend Ivy at school. 
That's right. All right, we're going to go to one more, and then we're going to head back. All right, this one's called Get a Grip. Difficulty is 2.0, so it's a lot easier than that last one. Terrain's 1.5. Micro again. Here we go. Let's navigate to it. Two point or 1.2 miles. Let's do it, JT. Yep. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, 0.2 miles, we're headed toward it. JT's gonna lead the way. Well, we found one and we didn't find one. What do you think about that, big boy? That, that weird and not weird. Weird and not weird. Well. We're gonna get up here, maybe we can find as a second one for the day. And then we'll go get mama and go do something with her. What do you think? Sounds good. All right, we'll see you at the cache. All right, point one miles. Ooh, we're getting close. Off the trail, JT, going this way. We're about 450 feet away. All right, we're getting off the trail into the grass. Ooh, let's fly through here. Go, JT, go! We can get wet right here if we want to. <laughs> I went through the wet water. Is he gonna do it? Let's see. <laughs> he went around it, that's okay. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's see if we can find this thing. 250 feet away, let's go. Hey. Aha, I see a pole over there. I'm guessing it might be close to that pole. JT, I'm thinking maybe near that pole. It looks like it's somewhere right in here. Well, there's a bunch of little holes in that in that pole. I bet it's in one of those holes, maybe. Man, but look at all that we got to go through. All right, let's read about this one just a little bit. Okay, description. It says, we have used, all right, we used to have a cache near here called Little Guy. After several of our caches disappeared, we decided to update some of them rather than simply replace. You are looking for a micro, you will need a log retrieval tool. Be careful retrieving the cache and please replace exactly as found. Let's see, let's look at the hint. Wouldn't you like to know? Would, int, W-O-O-D. Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't. Maybe it's a piece of wood? All right, wouldn't you like to know, called Get a Grip. All right, let's do this. All right, it says we're 41 feet away now. Maybe we need to go back this way. Oh, maybe it's, it looks like in this. So this is wood. Wouldn't you like to know? It says we're 10 feet away from it. Let's look around to this thing, JT. Awesome cash. 10 feet away, look up and down. Look like any type of a little bitty hole or something. Maybe in this. I can see cracks, but it definitely... Says we're six feet away, but this looks like it might... It might be inside that side. No, it's got... It's probably disguised. Remember, it's probably camouflaged. And it's micro, it's tiny. All right, we're gonna keep looking. We'll get back with you if we find it. What do you think, JT? Cool. All right, let's do it. Uh, around inside this sewer drains. This area is known for its sewer drains. There's a bunch of them. This is, this is not wood. And um, we're looking for something that is wood. All right, might be in wood. It might be a wood container. I don't know. Something to do with wooden you like to know. All right, let's go somewhere else. Here, kind of toward our creek, kind of got, you know, misdirected. Not sure which way to go on this. So it, see if we can find anything down here. But we we don't see anything. And we're further away, 25 feet. But we go that way back to our <laughs> telephone pole. I think it's over there. So we're going to head back over there and see... One more time, see if we can find this. Found this thing one more time. If you think you see it, let me know in the videos, the comments. Because I don't, JT does not. I picked up a rock and it's not underneath the rock. If you see it, let me know. And uh, 
we'll come back and try to find it. We'll give you credit for it. Thanks for watching this. This geocaching is, it's fun, but it's kind of tough too. It's on that pole somewhere. <laughs> I believe it. We're six feet away from it. And there's, I believe it's somewhere up there. Maybe it's super high? I don't think so, JT. It might be because if, if somebody wanted it super high, they could put a ladder on and put it inside that. Oh. You think we need to go home and get a ladder? Bring it back? Um, no. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get out of here. Tell everybody we'll see you on the next adventure. We'll see you on the next adventure by Nail Dits and Marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs>well we, we just looked for three we found one we couldn't find two and we're gonna start heading back anyways what are you doing okay well we will be back in i don't know 10 minutes or so so we'll see you in a minute all right bye did you see it in there somebody drew a smiley face <laughs> Somebody's put a smiley face on the sewer. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's go back. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Hi JT, was that fun? So we found, how many caches have we found so far? So we're up to six, is that what it is? All right, so this is fun. Treasure hunting means you're hunting, doesn't mean you always find it, right? Sometimes you find it, sometimes you don't. All right, let's get up there and find mama and let's go on another Another treasure hunt or another adventure doing something different? Let's see. I want to go on a, uh, I don't want to go on a different treasure hunt. I want to show, um, everybody how I built my tree house. Okay, we'll go look at your tree house. That'll be cool. I'll race you up there. You want to race? I don't want to race. You don't want to race? <laughs> you sure? You sure? I don't want to. Okay, we're not racing. We're not racing at all. We're not racing. <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> he needs something to eat, and that's what he needs. All right. <laughs> this last one makes it. Oh. Are you feeling the bite? You can't do this yet. Uh oh, Mama's back's still hurting her. She's getting it though. I don't know if I this. It's going slow.
14 miles an hour. Yeah, you're doing good. Doing good, doing good. Get it, get it, get it. Get strong, it. mama. Haven't tested any faster than that. Big boy, you want to eat an orange? Yes. All right, let's get it. All right, after doing a little geocaching, we decided to get some pizza down here on the square, and it's good stuff. And they have these swings, they're called fire and ice. I just got some type of mayonnaise, barbecue kind of sauce, and then a hot sauce you put with it. They're good. Look at Mama. Mama's fingers, she's loving them. Are they good? Yeah, finger, licking, good. The fire and ice wings. All right, we're gonna go get some more caches after this. What do you think, JT? Good, and this food is great. Yeah, all right. This food was great, and now we're gonna go and find a geocache.